Hey, what's good, y'all? My name is Kiki Nina, but y'all can call me Kike for short. And today, bro, we're going to be ranking uh, the five best songs off of The Off Season by J. Cole. As you know, The Off Season just dropped. And shoot, bro, people are raving, people are hating. But shoot, we just going to be ranking. But yeah, bro, I'm going to be telling you the five best undisputed best songs off of the album. From least to best. So, let's get it started, shall we? What did I say? What the freak? Let's get it started, shall we? Thank you. Gosh, I cannot English. All right, at number five, we got Pride is the Devil. This is um a song that caught me by surprise because, you know, it's sampling, you know, Amine's I Can't Decide. Uh, I guess they're both, they were both produced by the same um, producer, T-minus, so I guess he just gave Cole this beat too, I guess. But shoot, bruh, I, I love, you know, the way um, Cole just talks about, like, pride and how it can, like, misconstrue um, many people and consume them and just, like, guide them to an um, indirect path, you feel me? It's a really nice song and, like, bruh, like, and, Lil, and the surprise little Baby feature. Like, I was not expecting little Baby at all, to be honest. And he killed that bit. He ran it. Like, Lil Baby be killing his features, bro. And Cole had a lot of, like, lot to say, too. Not not, not too bad of a chorus and everything. But, you know, it's like it's still, like, cool and everything. It's not, like, the most, you know, dynamic or, like, lyrically, like, depth song ever, you know. But it has a strong message. And I vibe with that. I vibe with that. John Koo. At number four, we got My Life, featuring 21 Savage. This is another um, dope cut. This was like, this was um, kind of hinted at on the documentary. And it's honestly, it sounds like a lot from um, 21 Savage's um, I Am Greater Than I Was um, album. You feel me? Like, but they had like a strong you know, message within it, like the way, like the lyricism carried throughout Cole's like verse and everything. And also, uh, what was it? Was it, um, Moray or, or, um, James Fontelore who was on like the, who was on the chorus? Like, they, like they killed that bit. They killed that bit. But, um, in 21 Savage's verse, bro, I was so excited when 21 came on, bro. I was like, what the fudge? What the fudge? 21, what? What? But bro, Twenty One killed that verse, bro. Honestly, I think I think he just he murked Cole on, on that one on this one for sure, for sure. Twenty One Twenty One killed that bit. I love Twenty One's verse, bro. <laughs> that song was cold. But shoot, bro, another dope song, bro. Shoot. At number three, we got um, we got um, let go of my hand. Oh my gosh, bro, like. Let go my hand, bruh. Come on now. It's just the like the tribal like vibe that it has, the jungle like the smooth jungle vibe that it has, bruh. This jungle is so ugh. And Cole was just like so smooth on it, like he was just really spitting like that real on this one, like even though he had that like monotone voice kind of, but like just the way he was sliding on the track. And just how he just like, you know, equating his words and just telling his stories and all his like more of his struggles that we haven't heard before. There's some stuff we have heard before, but you know, just just the way it sounded and just like the just mellow and just forlorn nature of it. It's just a, a nice track, bro. And the freaking refrains from um, Boss, bro. Boss killed that. Boss was doing his thing, man. He's like a, on a few of these joints too. Boss was doing his thing, man. But shoot, bro, this is a nice track. It just, it just has that nice tribal and just like smooth jungle, rainforesty, ambient kind of sound to it. Just has, it's just such a nice vibe, bro. It's a nice vibe, man. Love this track. At number two, we got 95 South, the intro of this freaking album, bro. 95 South, oh my god, when this junk came on, this junk, this junk is just so hard, bro. Like, listen, bro, this junk was so hard. Pause. Like, ugh. 
Go to the now. Oh, put an M right on your head, you Luigi brother. Now, that jump was that jump was hard, bro. That jump was hard. Like just the, the dark and like triumphant kind of beat that it has. It just felt like so urgent. He it just oozed the hunger out of him, bro. And just like the amount of like aggression and flow that was coming out of Cole, like the cadence was just the like the he was feasting, bro. It was such a hard opener. And freaking kill the cam on um like like speaking like stuff on the intro. I was like, what? And then the ending. I put your hood up. I was like, what? Cole does not do this. Talking about some put your hood up. Yeah, right. I'm like, what? Cole? What? That's crazy. That was the mo one of the most hypest intros Cole has ever had, ever. Like, bruh. This junk was dope, man. This was, oh my god. I was hyped, bruh. I was hyped. And now for the number one song on the freaking album. You already know. You already know. Hunger on Hillside, bruh. Oh my god. This was how you close a freaking project, bro. This this is just such a dope closer, bro. Just the cinematic violin and just the loop of like as it loops within the beat, like Ugh, I just feel like I'm floating. Oh my god, I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. I gotta hear it. Oh my god, you just just hear the little like lead up into the like. Oh, it's, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's just so cold. Oh, and that line. I start effing the hoes until you realize that you is the hope. Like, bro, come on, man. Come on. Bro, it's just like so euphoric. It's just, you just feel like you're floating. You're walking on air. You're just like levitating up to heaven. And Cole is just spitting all over this freaking track. And just the refrains, too, just levitate you even higher. It's so beautiful, man. Like, oh my gosh. I just, I just love how heavenly it sounds, man. It's just so heavenly, so like, oh, it's just so dope, bro. It's such a great song. Just everything about it, man. You just feel like the soul within this track. You feel the soul, just the presence, the essence of God. Like, it's like just lifting to a higher place, going to the astral plane, man. Hung around the hillside. Best song in the track. No doubts about it, bro. Come on now. Quit playing with him. Quit playing with him, bro. But shoot, bro. Those are my top five um tracks on the off season. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. What's your um top five um favorite tracks? What's your favorite track? What's your least favorite track? Tell me if you agree with me or disagree with me. I'm sure a lot of y'all disagree. But shoot, this is um undebatably the most accurate top five list um right now so yeah uh thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoy leave a like and subscribe for more leave me some suggestions of watch to react to or listen to you feel me and yeah bro again what y'all think about the off season and like what's your favorite song shoot i'm out this bitch <laughs> I just pause on walking y'all up in the fucking beach crush I just flew to Italy to grab a slice of pizza We just living different but to you that doesn't mean much I just heard your album hold your know you kinda stink